The Food Service Exchange presents. Hi, I'm Jim Miller, Corporate Chef for Crest Corps. We're here at the Crest Corps William R. Baggett Hospitality and Conference Center. Um, we're going to take a look at cooking with our quick therm ovens today and we'll also get into some roast and hold ovens and hopefully smoking different things down the road but this is the first in a series of videos that we're going to do for you. Never hesitate to call if you have any questions. Okay, let's cook some individual pizzas for lunch today. Simply turn the power unit on. You'll see both controls light up. There's a separate on-off button for the humidity control. You need to turn that on. We're going to cook the pizza with, push the cook button. I like to use 250 degrees, a little bit lower temperature. And we're going to use about 60%, no, let me get back up, 60% humidity. Push to set on this side. Holding, I'd like to turn it up to about 155 on the holding. And humidity, we'll take it up to uh, 70%. That should be good. Push to set here. It'll bring that over. The cooking time, it should take about 20 minutes. Push to set. The unit will automatically preheat. It'll only take a few minutes. And then we should be ready to load the oven and cook. Here we have individual pizzas, both plain and pepperoni, typically the children's favorite. All right, now that we've loaded the two pans of pizza into the oven, you notice it's still so reading push start. And this the oven's going to remind you that you have yet to push start, so the alarm will sound. So all we need to do, reach up. Push start and we're off and cooking. Now while the oven is cooking and the timer's counting down for our pizza, you'll notice it'll tell you with the indicator light that it's in the cooking mode working off of the timer. But also with the humidity, if you see the low water switch illuminated, it's like, oops, I need to add a little bit of water to the control. That's all that means. It's not going to hurt anything. So just simply get another pitcher of water and you can add it to the water tank down below. Here we have the humidity water tank for the quick therm oven. Simply remove the cover. You'll see the heating element down below that will heat the water. And there's also two float valves. Just fill it with four gallons of water. Replace the top. And you're ready to go. In uh, draining to clean out the water tank in the bottom of the unit, you can slide the oven over a floor drain in the kitchen as um, long as one is available. If not, you can also take a uh, 12 by 20 pan, slide it beneath the unit itself, and then do the same process. Just pull that green handle toward the front. That'll open the front drain valve and you can get the water out of the unit for cleaning and sanitizing. Now as the oven counts down, when it reaches zero on the timer, it'll automatically move into the holding mode. You'll hear an alarm, it'll be coming up soon, and the unit will start counting up on the timer. Okay, now that the alarms told us that the pizza is ready, we've got some beautifully heated pizza cooked all the way through and ready to serve to the children. For tool, um, we do have a guideline for you that's set up for re-therming most of the normal foods that are used in every school food service operation. So you can find these online at our website at crestcore.com or simply reach out to us, send us a note, and we'd be more than happy to send you some laminated ones to put on your ovens till your people get acclimated to the oven itself. Okay, well, we just wanted to thank you for uh, taking the time to learn a bit more about the uh, Quick Therm Oven from Crestcore. And uh, we will continue to do different food items and different things to uh, help you along. 
If you see something that you're curious about, please get in touch with us. Um, you can reach us um, on the 800 number or at the website at crestscore.com. And uh, we thank you for your patronage and all your support. Have a great day.